Now, let's get down to business. Whether you're into politics or not, or if you watch the news or you don't, it's pretty hard to miss that this country is coming up on a presidential election. Now, that being said, it's a pretty well-known fact that the Republican Party uses its national symbol as an elephant, and the Democratic's national symbol as a donkey. In order for you to understand the point I'm about to try to make, you must understand a little bit of history. The Republican Party uses an elephant, which symbolizes it fairly well. And the Democratic Party uses a donkey, which also symbolizes it very well. But have you ever wondered which one symbolizes better? Now, oh. we're going to have to do some history work on this first. The first time these symbols were widely used was in a cartoon, believe it or not. Titled Third Term Panic in 1874 by Thomas Nass. Isn't it kind of funny how a cartoon wrote history? <laughs> the Democratic donkey was depicted in lion's clothing as an old fable by Aesop or Shakespeare and Bacon. It's widely debated who did this. But the elephant, however, which represent the Republican Party, may I add, represented them because they were strong and not fearful. Now, let me tie you back into the lion's clothing. Thomas Nash depicted the Democratic Party in lion's clothing because the donkey, or the Democratic Party, was going around the woods just scaring all the other animals in the lion's clothing. How does that correlate, Carson? Or how does that work? I'm going to show you how this works. Let me paint a picture for you here. The symbolism is spot on. Oh, uh 146 years later after that cartoon was drawn. The caption in the cartoon rated red. Excuse me. An ass. Now mind you, not the bad word, the donkey. An ass having put on a lion skin roamed about in the forest and amused himself by frightening all the foolish animals he met in his wanderings. The elephant is a naturally calm animal, but also dominant. But the donkey just walks around and talks a big talk. Now, I'm going to tie you in with a little bit of numbers here. And I know the last thing you want to hear right now is numbers. But you'll remember this, because you probably lived through it if I had to guess. Our current president, President Donald Trump, Republican, has hosted one of the biggest economies in American history. President Obama, Democrat, hosted one of the biggest economic failures besides the Great Depression. Uh. Let me read off these exact numbers for you. During former President Obama's leadership, the unemployment rate was a stunning 10.2%. That's 10.2% of Americans out of a job. During President Trump's leadership, the unemployment rate is only 3.5 and steadily declining. That's a difference. You might have to do some quick math. Quick math. Of almost seven point, give or take a few tenths percent. That was stated in a Markets Insider article. Now, what does all of that have to do with symbols? <laughs> Much like the cartoon, all the donkey did was talk a big talk. Whereas the elephant kept its head down and took action. Much like the parties, as shown by the numbers in the presidency. Now, you're probably thinking, that's one instance. Obama inherited a bad economy. Maybe true, but Jimmy Carter took over a booming economy. May I remind you, President Jimmy Carter was a uh, Democrat. You can love me. Now, President Jimmy Carter crippled our economy. Until President Reagan showed up four years later. President Reagan was a Republican. I know that just sounds like a bunch of jibber-jabber, but the Republican Party, much like the elephant, has no need to prove its power. It just automatically demands it. Whereas the Democratic Party, party excuse me, talks a big talk and just walks around trying to frighten other animals in the forest. The Republican elephant describes the Republican Party to a T, right? And I've already said that. It's naturally dominant, but yes, I know you care. But the donkey just runs around and talks a big talk. 
and you can't walk the walk. Now, now that I've provided you with all the information, you decide for yourself, but keep in mind, there's only one right answer. The numbers show that Democrats make nothing but a mess. Much like the donkey just tries to frighten people in the woods. Whereas the elephant just keeps his head down and does work like it should be done. Now, let me put you in perspective here. Would you want a president who runs around tries to frighten other animals that maybe you're part of that 10.3% that's unemployed and you don't have a job and you can't support your family? Or do you want a president much like the Republican elephant who keeps his head down and does work? And now you're in that 7% that is not unemployed anymore. Thank you for your time. I hope you'll make the right decision. America, fuck yeah!